Hey guys, what's up? So, it's been a while since I made a Bronco video, and I'm having a small quilt leak in my radiator, I think. I had a leak about a year ago, and that was actually the water pump leaking, but I think I made a video about that on camera, but let me uh, pop this one real fast. Alright, so if you're new to this channel, this is a 1966 Bronco, and uh, 351 Windsor, fuel injected. Take a look. So I suspect I have a leak right here somewhere. Right there. Well, not there, but over here. Like green. Right there. Take a look. Yeah, in the morning I can see it drip for a while, but right now I think it's leak it's 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 already leaked down past the leak in the radiator, so I'm not getting the drip anymore. So I got a stant pressure tester there. I'm gonna take a look at it. Now. Get it going. All right, so I picked this up on Amazon. It's a stant pressure tester cap. So I want to, I mean, obviously I know it's leaking, so that's not a issue, but I wanted to see, hopefully I could figure out where it's leaking from without having to pull the radiator out. But, um, because I want to use some of these, uh, like, uh, muggy weld or aluminum welding rods from Harbor Freight, see if I could possibly uh, weld the whole, I don't have a TIG welder, so I can't weld aluminum. So, so this thing is, a. Uh, and hopefully it will fit on my radiator so I can hook up to my air compressor and possibly uh, get a reading on it. I really only got it for this part right here because I wanted to hook it to my air compressor and wow, it looks like this thing's already used already. I used in return? What the hell? I don't know. Maybe it's just from rubbing in the box. Looks like it's black wrinkle powder coated. All right, we'll see if that can fit on there. All right, so the fan I took out was my uh, Volvo conversion I did uh, a couple years ago. Then I, you can see, uh, it's been sucking up coolant. I put this like little foam straps around here to keep it, the air from coming through the, the sides and also uh, to protect the radiator. But take a look, you can see where it's wet in there. Can see that the camera it's all down there so I don't know if this is gonna be fixable or not. I'm gonna that's why I had the pressure test I'm gonna see if I can fill it with water and put the thing under pressure and see if I can see it leaking out somewhere like I said I suspect it's up here at the top because once it gets back down to a certain level it stops dripping on the floor so all right cool all right so it looks like I might be getting a leak on the other side too down there Let's see if I can get in there Man, these little aluminum radiators are freaking kind of weak. Um, this is the second one I've actually had to, had, had to go through, you know. So, I might look. This is actually a serpentine conversion, so it's a 5.0 inlet and outlet, you know. You hear a video about that, you know, the conversion, the serpentine conversion. But, um, yeah, look at that. Leak on that side and that side. I don't know if I can get in there to even do it. Like, at least with a. You know, with, with a copper one, I could braise it. I do actually have some muggy wells, but if I can't get in there, you know, I can't fix this thing, so. I mean, stop leak is the only thing I will, but I'll fix it. We'll get a new radiator. All right, so that's weird. So, uh, at 20 PSI and 30 PSI, it's leaking from that hose clamp right there. You can see this thing's pretty bulged under pressure. Yeah, I thought for sure it'd be coming out of that the weep hole right there, but nope. But 16 to 15 to 16 should be the pop off for the for the cap. So, all right. But I don't see any leaks coming from the radiator though, which is weird. All right, so I can see the leaks now. I don't know if that's going to be able to weld that or not. Alright, so I don't think I'm going to be able to weld those holes. Because they're too far in there, so... I'm probably going to be getting a new radiator here. So, let me know what you think if I should get copper or aluminum. I don't know, I've had pretty bad luck with these aluminum ones so far. My original copper one, I never had a problem with. This is my second or third aluminum one that I've had to replace. I can't remember. I've had this thing for 20 years, so... 
Um, yeah, these things seem like they're kind of weak. I mean, this was like a cheap eBay 120 hour radiator, so I don't know. Annoyed, I guess. All right.